Hey all, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me this week. So, in front of you, as you would have seen in the title, I am doing a box review, preview, whatever you want to call it, of the awesome Zukimura F4EJ Phantom 2. Now, I've been after this kit for quite a while, so it is a pleasure to have this bad boy in front of me. Now, before we get on the get-go here, unusually for me, you may have noticed that this is being not being dubbed over. I'm actually doing this kind of live, per se. So, you will hear things in the background. I've got three lovely doggies that, of course, the minute I decide to do something like sit in front of a camera and have a chat with you guys, they want to know um, what I'm up to, and they're all over me, of course. Um, I live under the approach to an airfield, straight airport, so you might hear some aviation noise in the background no bad thing there and of course uh, the lovely songbirds in the background also because I've got my double doors open today because the weather's lovely and so getting that aside um, what you see in front of you is the fantastic packaging that comes with this okay so I hope you enjoy this uh, review preview it's not going to be a hugely long one I'm not going to drag it out because if you like me um, I do tend to find these things maybe a little bit tedious with just looking at plastic I'm just got sort of going to run through uh, what's in the box give you an idea of what the uh, decals look like the instructions and uh, yeah the box art and just the plastic etc and what you actually get in this box so I don't intend to drag it out but uh, I thought it might be of interest because this is going to be my next build after uh, what I'm doing at the moment, which you will all be aware of, uh, the uh, Great Wall Hobby SU27UB. Anyway, we will try not to mention that too much in this because this is all about this bad boy. So, this is the uh, Superwing series, uh, the 10th anniversary. Now, I'm going to try and do my camera work as best I can because, as I say, I'm doing this a bit live and I'm going to try not to do too much editing with it um, just to give it, uh, yeah, just to uh, so you can listen to my wafflings and me saying, uh, a lot. Anyhow, so 10th anniversary Superwing series, that's nice that. The box art is is pretty stunning. Uh, I like that a lot. Um, and you also you get all the bits that you know the nice side bit there, and the the the, uh, the, the, the small prints, should we say? Okay, and then it's all just down the side there. So there you go. You get a rough idea. It's a box. It's got nice artwork on it. Looks good. So what's inside? So let's have a look. Now, what I have done, um, I have had a quick look. I'm not one of these people that's going to say, eh, I've not um, had a look. This is all a surprise to me. What's the point? Um, I have had a quick look. Uh, I've taken all the bags off because, you know, you don't want to see me sitting there splitting bags open and putting things out. There's no joy in that. So uh, let's crack on. The only, having said that, the only bag I haven't uh, taken off is the one for the instructions. I haven't actually had a, a huge look through these because I've been too busy with the other kits. But So this is a bit new to me. And uh, this review is going to be basically my take uh, of what's in the box. It's not going to be a professional, um, oh, these missiles are this, this is that, that's that. This is, it's just have a look, see what's in it. Um, it's going to be fairly uh, sort of to the point. Um, and then sort of tech specs and things like that. I, I haven't got a PhD in Phantoms, so I, I'm not hugely genned up with the technical side of things and what bits of what, etc. I just like building model aircraft. Um, uh, I love aviation, uh, it's been in my blood for, for 40 odd years, so uh, uh, I love it, but I, I'm not one of those that likes to know every nut and bolt of an aircraft. So this is gonna be a nice, simple review, like I've said, um, and anyway, I'm gonna stop waffling. Instruction booklet in black and white. It's pretty thick, it's got uh, 32 pages. There we go. I'm trying to keep everything in front of the camera because this is quite a large, um, a larger box and instructions as right so you can't see that there we go we have basically a bit of the history so it's written in I guess Japanese here in English here if you don't speak either of those languages uh, you are a little bit shit out of luck I'm afraid try out different positions well wow, there's an offer a bloke can't refuse huh so here we go, I guess it's on about flaps. Uh, yeah, air brakes, lower leading edge flaps, pylons and launchers, there's all different bits and pieces. I do love how the Japanese do these things. Kudos to you guys. Here we have uh, a paint chart. Sadly not in color, a little bit disappointing for that, but I guess they've got to keep costs down, even though this wasn't the cheapest. And they are recommending Vallejo. Now somewhere on here, it says that they recommend Vallejo because it's good for the environment. Here we go. It says it on here, it's very, 
very good. For painting, we recommend using Vallejo colours, a new generation of paints that's safer and more environmentally friendly. Well done Zukimura for putting the environment first, despite the fact that there is that much worth of plastic. Anyhow, I digress. So, black and white instructions. Uh, the instructions that look to me are on the get-go. Oh, uh, wow, yeah, they're pretty, pretty concise. They look nice and clear. Little cut bits there, and there's a nice sort of a close-up of the uh, of a diagram of the seating area, um, parts configuration after assembly. So there we go. But you'll see this all in here. I'm not going to drag this out. I'm going to go through every page. It is what it is. It's a set of instructions. They're very, very good. How good they are, I guess we'll find out as I go along through the build. But um, from what I've seen of other people's reviews and builds and that, it's, it's, it's pretty excellent. So we'll go with that. Okay, so yeah. There is pages and there is pages and there is pages of this stuff. And then there's a nice little, um, I guess a, sp a sprue diagram of, of what you get. So that gives you a rough idea. Okay, so that's instructions. Pretty much what they say on the tin. Next up, now this I quite like. Uh, if I ever get my shed in in, in, <laughs> in order or get into my shed, this would look quite smart on the wall. It's a nice full colour view, where the decals go, what colour should be, etc, etc. I do like that, that's pretty cool. As you can see there, I'll bring that up nice and close to the camera for you. Paint colours and colour chart, etc, etc. Oh, oh yes, very nice. And on the back as well. That's a cool view. I like it. Very much so. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty smart. Like that. Uh, I guess this is like a catalogue. Yeah, catalogue comes with it. Buy more kits. Can't blame them, I suppose. There you go. Catalogue, clear that out of the way. Now, a lot of people leave this to the end because everyone's crazy about the decals. What's the point? Let's just get on with it, shall we? Nicely covered here. These decals are by Cartograph, so they're going to be freaking awesome. And from what I can see, taking a look at them, they look quite thin, so that's nice. That might, uh, hopefully not tricky for laying down, but it would be good for that painted on, sprayed on look. Okay, and as you can see here, I'll bring this up as close as I can to the camera. There we go. There's some nice, nice details in there. It is, it's well done, as you'd expect. Now, here's the huge gulp, because there are 331 of these decals. So that is liable to keep me out of mischief for quite a long time um, when I build this. That's quite, quite a daunting prospect actually. But again, beautifully detailed, as you can see. Really, really nice. And there's some cockpit um, decals as well, but I am probably going to use Quinter Studios, but we won't, uh, yeah, we'll see on that one, okay? So yeah, yeah that's pretty cool. Yeah, not bad at all. So, let me just clear those out of the way with the bag. So, what's the plastic? Let's have a look. Um, oh, first things first. This was nice, I like this. I might use this, I might take a picture of this and uh, have this as the uh, video photo pictures. I like that, that's cool, that's gonna stay packaged. That's a nice little touch of the Phantoms. We have a 1971-2020 written on there, 301 Squadron, very nice. That's quite a cool little thing that. I like little touches like that. So. I normally keep these, uh, they keep the glass bits bagged, but for, for your eyes, ladies and gents, I've taken this out. I'm gonna store this safely elsewhere so it doesn't get scratched. That's, but uh, let me, I'll tell you what, if I move this out, I don't know, oh yeah, it's made it even harder to see. But there we go. These are splendid. These are actually better. These are actually probably the best molded uh, clear parts I've, ever, I've actually clapped eyes on, um, bar sort of Tamiya stuff. There's no seam line down the middle. Yay, go them because I'm seam lines down uh, the middle of these clear parts is just poxy for trying to, to sand out. I've had that, that issue with the Great Wall Hobby one. It's doable, but it is a pain in the bum. But these, they don't have it. Um, I'm trying to bring these up nice and close so that you can see, but these are quite difficult, quite difficult to see. But yeah, listen, I'm not gonna drag this out. There we go, nice bits of clear plastic for uh, the clear parts. So we have here, this is, basically uh, armaments, so these will be AIM sidewinders, know them bit, know them quite well. Um, you get to get a nice uh, crew load, uh, crew step ladders or uh, crew ladders for getting inside the uh, cockpit. There's two, I think there's two sets of these, obviously uh, for the for front and rear of the cockpit and just the sheer amount of weaponry that comes with this. I feel that there will be uh, quite a, um, quite, uh, quite a lot for the old spare box here. So we've got fuel tanks, 
four weapons. Ooh, nearly picking a bit off there already. Detail is good, but there. More fuel tanks. I'm just going to sort of ruffle, rummage through the box. There you go, there's uh, more fuel tanks. Arrestor hook. The detail on that's pretty damn tasty. Nice. Front main, front uh, gear undercarriage, I reckon. Race panel lines. I guess they must have that in the real thing. I'll, I'll find out, I suppose. Uh, what else we got? Oh, here we go. Yeah, there's the twin of the other sprue. Again, very nice. The sidewinder detail is pretty, pretty decent on that. So, uh, what next? Okay, so these are. So what's interesting here is it has F, uh, obviously 148 F4 Phantom 2. Now these, I'm presuming, must be the same for all the other kits that they've made. Um, so it's sort of kind of generic, okay? And if they're going to make some more, I guess it saves them having to re. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Remold different types it's like a generic section but these are the aircraft ailerons of uh, sorry flaps so this is what's very good with these I'm gonna try and do it so you can see it. I don't know if you can see that there but there's these are on a, 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 an angle um, do excuse the state of my hands I've been doing some gardening this morning uh, yeah these are on an angle so that they're easy to slot in into position very nice I like that nice touch so again generic for the F4 piles and piles of highly detailed pylons and weapons bits but the detail again like we're coming to sort of get come a standard now with new stuff it's just fabulous very very good aha uh -huh. what do we got here ah now now this is the sprue that's different i've been looking for this this is as you can see on here specific for the f4 ej which is the kit you're building here so it's got different fin uh, it obviously has got different uh, cockpit interior, different screens because it's the EJ version, different uh, rear part here, and the news must be different as well. As I say, listen, I don't have a PhD in Phantoms, um, ladies and gents, so I don't know what the diff. I, I guess those bits are the difference because again, we just then go back to normal standard embossed F4 uh, parts. These are the ejector seats. Smart, very very nice cockpit details look like they're gonna be yeah very good Ooh, like that that's the um, ejector pull handles they're gonna be fun to paint I think there's a decal for those and then there's the tops of the, of the cockpit there very nice so we'll move through we'll carry on moving on uh, various here there's more cockpit details and wheel wells I would say they are very nice and as an option for uh, just a normal F4 um, E Phantom normal nose, not for the EJ. Okay, more more ordnance tailplanes are there. They're smart. Yeah, they're very 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 nice and crisp work on these. As I see, look look at the detail on that. Yeah, I rate that highly. Aha, right, nice. This is something that is super cool, okay? Um, this is all parts of the exhaust and afterburner and engine sections. The detail, uh, I'm not gonna wax lyrical too much, but bloody hell, that's rather good, isn't it? Very, very nice parts. Look at it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to line it up for the camera for you to see, but there is some very good detail. And also, for you guys that like to really go to town with uh, making well, with the detail, you can have the engines out on these and the detail again. I'm sure it can be added to, but the detail off the back there is bloody lovely. Yeah, like that a lot. Good effort, uh, Zukimura. That's a good sprue, that. Good advertisement sprue, so to speak. Okay, next up, lower part of the fuselage and top parts and lower parts of the wings and also the wing tips. So these will be on an angle. I don't see if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. Very nice. Now I like this. This is all being one bit, so there's no, um, no, well, no glaring seam lines. And I'm going to try and bring this in nice and close. There's your detail. There you go. Try and catch that in the light. Apologies if I can't. Yeah, there she goes. Lovely. There, all the detail there. They've really, yeah, they've, they've done well here. They've done very, very well. There you go. Get while well, that focuses in. So that's lower and um, bottom of the fuselage. Very happy with that, that's smart. Now for me, this main event, fuselage halves. Ta-da! Now, 
What they have done, which was something I was very keen to see if they have, and I'm gonna try and show you, um, let's have a look see, is where the fuselage seam line goes along here, they've actually got a drop-in plug. Now, the reason that I'm keen to see that is because the actual uh, spine of the fuselage has circular areas. Now, if you had to sand those uh, along the seam line, that would have been an absolute nightmare. Now, I'm just gonna rummage through here whilst I casually put bits of plastic back in the box, see if I can find the part, yes, here it is. What I'm on about, just so you know I'm not going mad, is this is the, down the spine of the aircraft. Now, can you see those circular um, sections, excuse the uh, emergency department going past? Now, on some of the kits, I've seen these, and the, there is like a seam line down there, and then you've got to try and sort of sand around that and keep the detail there. Now, for me, I don't reckon that was gonna happen because uh, I think that would be very, very difficult. So well done to Kimura in, um, making this so that it's one part and it's, it's, it's easy. Here you go, you can see the afterburner section or the exhaust sections again, spectacular detail. The front section there again is just splendid. This is gonna be a good build, okay? Very, very nice. Okay, well, that's pretty much it, ladies and gents. Um, I'll bring the box back over here so you're not just staring at a blank screen. That is the Zukimura uh, 148F4EJ. I'm just scrambling so we can have something as a point of interest while I carry on waffling on. That is this, basically. So I'm gonna do it in these colors. Um, I don't know, it's kept clean, so I don't think there's gonna be a huge amount of weathering going on here. This will be fun again, because if you've been following along my build series with the uh, SU-27, you know I'm, uh, I'm sort of new to getting the exhaust to look right, etc., etc. So that'll be a cool learning curve with that. And then the colors on here as well, etc. Uh, should look smart. Don't do things by halves, me as you all know. So this is going to be uh, this is going to test my skills. But yeah, so far so good. I hope you've enjoyed the build. I do apologise. As I say, I did some gardening this morning, and the state of my hands. It looks like I am that guy with the dirty hands in the video. I, I hang my head in shame. I shall go and crawl back off into my dark corner and, and uh, wash my hands before I do my next video. Uh, don't hate the player, <laughs> I hate the game, I do apologise for that, but um, I'm sure you were too busy looking at sprues and not my hands, and if you were looking at my hands and not the sprues, maybe this, I don't know, channel's not for you, and there might be some, I don't know, uh, other, other places that you need to go to if that bothers you. Anyhow, thanks for watching, guys. Um, there, I'm not going to sort of digress too much into my other builds, because this is going to be a kind of standalone uh, a review. Uh, it's it's going to get started in the next few weeks, so uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, I thank you all. If you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe and the thumbs up so that you can uh, get notifications. Some of you have said that you're not getting the notifications. That's down to your settings because I've done everything I can. This ends. Um, thanks for watching. Have a great week. Happy modelling. And I guess it's toodaloo from me. Thanks again. Peace out.